This video is for people that want to monetize generative AI. Specifically, I'm gonna walk you through how to identify best-selling print-on-demand designs and recreate your own unique designs that are in high demand using three different generative AI tools. Now, if you're unfamiliar with my content, check my channel. I can show you how to monetize this using print-on-demand, including linking to a YouTube video right here that'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to launch your e-commerce business using Printful. But let's get right to it. I'm gonna jump into a research tool first because I want to sell what people are buying. So we're in Merch Dominator. It's gonna help us look at Amazon for best sellers. I'm gonna click MBA and KDP and then click best sellers. By the way, I'll link to Merch Dominator in the description in case you're not using it. The next thing I wanna do is apply advanced filters and I'm essentially gonna filter out the protected brands. So this will help me avoid uh, any intellectual property infringement. Next, I'm gonna go up to the top and under best sellers, I'm gonna search for the word Halloween. Let's just do a general search. We know Halloween is a massive opportunity for print on demand sellers. And now that we filtered out the protected brands, we should be good to go. So this is how simple this whole approach can be. I'm gonna screenshot the F call F number one bestseller. It's got a BSR of 19,000, which is really attractive, generating daily sales, multiple sales every day. I'm gonna go to Ideogram and I'll link to all the AI tools in the description, but here I'm just gonna paste and I'm gonna click describe. Now it's gonna use AI to describe this image. I'm gonna copy this and then I'm gonna hit generate. Now, while this works uh, in the background, I'm gonna actually paste the description right here into my notepad and I already have a pre-written prompt that I'm gonna use in Google AI Studio with Nano Banana and ChatGPT. It says, create a PNG transparent background design that I can sell on print-on-demand products. Here's a description of the graphic to create. And then I pasted the description from Ideogram. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste this into uh, Google AI Studio and then of course also into ChatGPT. And we'll give it a minute to finish generating the end result. Let's start by looking at ideogram first. By the way, it generates four different images at a time. So this is the first one right here that it came up with. Here is number two. Uh, obviously I would strip the background, which by the way, they do support. You can just go right here where it says replace BG, click that and then you can hit remove BG. Uh, here's number three and here's number four. So all of these based on again, this number one bestseller right here. Uh, here's Google AI Studio. Uh, they all got the text correct, which is awesome. That was one of the first things that AI struggled with back in the day when it was first uh, able to generate images. But Google AI Studio, this one looks really good. I love the font selection that they used as well. They have that distressed effect. And here's ChatGPT, a little bit more minimalist, but I think there's a use case for this. I think this would be good on maybe like a coffee mug, like a white coffee mug. That would be potentially really good. So that shows you how easy this is, guys. Let's go back and let's challenge it. Let's go with uh, this right here, the Frankenstein uh, tarot card, the lovers. So I'm gonna go back here to Ideogram and do the exact same thing where I paste the design and then I have it describe it. And with the description, I'm gonna go ahead, copy this. I'm gonna remove the previous prompt. Okay, now I've got this ready to go. And I'm gonna bring this into Google AI Studio and run. And then I'm gonna also bring it into ChatGPT and run it as well. Let's start with ChatGPT first this time. You can see that they got the gist of the tarot card. I mean, they got some of the roses. And I think that the color scheme and whatnot, it does look pretty tarot-y. Uh, it says the lovers at the bottom, but they added monster up top. Nope, that wasn't the original. Okay, great job. I missed that part. So it does say monster on the top and then the lovers at the bottom. Uh, here is Google AI Studio and they got the text correct up top and on the bottom as well. This looks more like an actual card. Uh, I think this one is probably better than the ChatGPT one in my opinion. And then here is Ideogram. I love that they generate four at a time, by the way. So that's number one. This is number two. That did not get the text right. Uh, number three, this nailed the text. And number four, look how different the styles are too. Even just like the positioning of the bodies and how they're uh, interacting with each other. Uh, and this is the original just for reference. So again, this is going really well so far. Now there's one that I really wanna see. It's this one right here. Uh, and by the way, again, I'm just using a program called LightShot that you can install on your computer to do these quick screenshots. Uh, as you saw, I just screenshotted from right there. We got the dabbing monsters. There's nine different monsters. Okay. So this is going to be a crazy description. Let's see how long this one ends up being. I bet you it's going to be a long one. Eh, it's not too bad actually. All right. I'm going to go ahead and replace the previous prompt. And then you guessed it. I'm going to generate 
here in Ideogram. We will generate in Google AI Studio and we'll generate in ChatGPT. Here's the response from Google AI Studio. You've got the dabbing uh, monsters. Let's see, compared to the original, so it was a zombie, then a skeleton, then a vampire. So it looks like they switched up the order a little bit. You got a zombie, then a vampire, then a skeleton, witch, ghost, and uh, I don't even know what that last one is. Uh, witch, ghost, Frankenstein, then you got skeleton, pumpkin, mummy. Uh, skeleton, pumpkin, mummy. So it took a little liberties there at the top, but besides that, I think it did a great job. Um, not my favorite. I might rerun it and just ask it to, I don't know, make it a little bit more like a flat graphic. For me with print-on-demand, I don't always like to have an outline, like a stroke added to the graphics. Sometimes, like for instance, the ghost. Does it need a black outline? No, I don't think it does. It would look just fine bleeding into the shirt. Uh, let's check ChatGPT. Uh, actually kind of similar here. If we look at the two, um, it looks like ChatGPT got the order correct though. So if we look back at the original, it was zombie, skeleton, vampire and it got zombie, skeleton, vampire. Not that it needs to be an exact one-to-one, -one, guys. Like, it definitely doesn't, if you ask me. Um, you can definitely, you know, take liberties to make it your own, and you should. Uh, so ChatGPT did a decent job, but it did reuse the skeleton, uh, other than one of them has orange shoes on. And now let's go to Ideogram here. The first one, I don't think this is really what we asked it for. I mean, it kinda is, I get it, but this looks like, almost like Microsoft clip art, so I don't think that's good for print-on-demand. This looks good for print on demand, but it's got those blurred. It's got like a Gaussian blur up applied to the elements in the background. That's not going to show well. This one is probably the best so far if I had to choose one. And then you get this one right here, which um, I mean, I'm not in love with any of these, honestly. So I think the winner for this round would be ChatGPT probably. All right, let's go pick another one. Okay, this is an all-time bestseller. I've seen this on a uh, TV show that we watch, a reality TV show as well. The This Is Boo Sheet. Uh, been number one best-selling Halloween t-shirt for the last two years that I remember off the top of my head on Amazon Merch. So let's go ahead. Whoops, I got to grab the prompt. Um, let's go ahead and test this one out. So I'm just going to paste that into my kind of prompt template here and go ahead and run it on Google AI Studio and on ChatGPT. Let's bring it home with this one. This is Ideogram. You can see this is Boo Sheet. It's got a little bit of an awkwardness to its eye right there. So probably not my favorite. This is the second one. I love the multicolor background there. I just think that it breaks up the monotony of just a monotone ghost against a black shirt. I love that they added the colors there in the background. Granted, it is based on uh, the you know vintage retro sunset graphic, but they took their own liberty there. So this is a completely unique rendition of that original. And I bet you this would sell. Uh, here's number three. I don't love this one as much, but it has a little bit of like an old school cartoony vibe to it. And also just a different... Um, vibe than this one does, you know, and different vibe than the original because it has that like, whoops, has that, that texture within it in that light blue color. Uh, and then number four right here with the teeth, again, just a completely different take on the original design. So I'm loving that out of Ideogram. Here's Google AI Studio. Uh, they did basically the minimum here. By the way, in terms of speed for generating these graphics on demand, Google AI Studio with Nano Banana is the fastest of anything that I've seen. So that's definitely something to note if you had to choose one of these tools to use. Uh, that is definitely good because time is money. So the faster you generate the graphics, the better. But you can see this one looks a lot closer to the original. Like they match the color schemes and the vintage retro sunset background. I don't necessarily like that. It feels a little bit like we're, it feels like we're copying them basically, you know, and it's not necessary. You see what Ideogram did with this one. I absolutely love this one. I think it's very unique when compared to the original, whereas this one's a little bit close from Google. Uh, and then this is ChatGPT, uh, and they actually let the eyes transparent. You saw that? So when we're not in this view, you can actually see the transparent PNG background. Uh, that is interesting, because I would have expected the eyes to be black. So probably not my favorite. I think Ideogram uh, image number two right here is my favorite. And guys, you can just go down the list. I mean, there's endless opportunities here in Merch Dominator. I'll link to everything you saw me use in this video below in the description. So check out Merch Dominator for research so that you prioritize giving customers what they want. Amazon gives us a data point called BSR, which is indicative of how many sales are taking place today. And it's a relative data point. So you literally see the shirts that are being purchased more than the other shirts in the same Amazon category. So that's extremely valuable information. Then you've got multiple options for generative AI to create unique brilliant designs based on bestsellers and you saw how quickly and easily we can do it what's not to love guys halloween's around the corner go get out ahead of that and that's it thank you for watching till the end please like and subscribe and i'll see you soon with another new video